Hello! Today I'm going to be making a bunny hat, similar to the ones that I've been seeing all over TikTok. Um, I'm making it for my friend for birthday slash Christmas celebration stuff. Um, but yeah, so I found this pattern online, link in description, um, and I'm going to modify it a bit. Um, I've already made one, like, kind of mock-up, I guess is what you'd call it. This is what it looks like. Um, so there were like a few things that went kind of wrong. First of all, the seams kind of like, I don't know how to describe it to like, it makes it feel like a tent. And then also this pattern is made for, um, you know, like Finn from Adventure Time hat. So like the ears are a lot smaller. And so they're like designed with in mind to like just be straight up, which isn't the intention of like the bunny ears so I'm gonna modify <laughs> I'm gonna modify how that happens and then also um, I didn't like how I sewed the like inside of the ear so I'm gonna fix that I also over overstuffed these ears so I'm gonna keep that in mind as well um, but yeah let me show you the pattern and what I'm changing so this is the pattern um, the first change that I made is that I'm making when I'm cutting out the fabric I'm cutting it out a little bit longer um, be just because heads are bigger and this pattern is for a stretchy fabric which I do not have so and then I'm also making the chin straps long uh, so so that they kind of are like you know dangly and cute like that um, going into the sewing of this new one I think I'm going to try to you know sew those things a little bit further down so that they're not um, pointing out <laughs> as much as they are on this one um yeah you know you know um but yeah and then the ears um i'm just cutting out obscenely long ears that's the ear size of the original pattern um i'm not doing that another thing to like make it so that the ears can droop a bit more intentionally <laughs> instead of having the bottom be a straight seam i'm gonna try to like you know like Sew it at an angle so that it can like naturally um, hang down instead of hang up, you know? So that's my intention. We'll see how it goes. Let me show you the fabric. So this is the fabric. Ooh. Um, yay! It's going to be black on the outside and then green on the inside. And then the ears are going to have um, black outsides, green inner parts um right now i have everything folded up and like pinned together so i'm not gonna undo it like that but yeah let's get sewing i guess um I, i'm not sure how well this is all gonna turn out but we're trying we're trying So I've noticed on the inside of the hat, um, with the modifications to these seams, and it's basically the exact same, um, so it's fine, <laughs> I think it'll be fine, um, but yeah, so it's looking good, 
um, kind of so that you're, I think seeing this now with like the green makes me think that I should try to do a frog hat version of this. Um, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Ears, ears are next. Okay, so the sun is starting to set, which is very surprising to me, but um, I finished sewing the, like, socks, not socks, ears, <laughs> um, I basically just, like, sewed the shape along the, the rectangle and stuff, um, so just, like, the ear shape, and I left the bottom open so I can turn it inside out. Um, I didn't film it because I was too lazy to move the camera. I'm honestly thankful I didn't because I made so many mistakes. Like my my machine jammed for like no apparent reason. But yeah, it's like completely wonky um, on this one. The like stitches are skipped a few times on like once the wrong side, and I'm like I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if it was because of the speed I was going at or what. I'm gonna have to redo this. Yeah, I'm making a lot of mistakes right now, but it'll be fine, right? Right? Please say yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Nothing looks like it's changed, but I flipped them and I ironed them. And I decided that I'm going to do a top stitch, even though I'm pretty sure the seam is safe. Um, top stitches make everything look nice, so might as well. But yeah, that's what they look like. Very cute. <laughs> So that was a absolute shit show. My machine was jamming nonstop. Um, I don't know if it's the way that the bobbin is set up or my machine is just prone to jamming, but I got through it in the end. Um, <laughs> we don't acknowledge the parts that went bad. How about that? <sighs> it's fine. Um, they look the same from far away, but there there is a difference in terms of quality and it was worth it, yeah. Totally. Um, I think I'm gonna call it a night after I finish top sewing the second ear, just because I only have two brain cells and I'm this close to losing one of them, so we're gonna do that and then sleep. So, bye. Okay, so guess who's back? It's me. I'm back. Um, I slept. I'm very well rested. I'm very well rested. Very well, very well rested. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's now morning, and we're gonna stuff some ears. Uh, this is my box of scrap fabric. So basically, where projects come to die. Um, <laughs> 
so I have like some like like for example this is this is supposed to be a shirt it's not doing too good of a job of being a shirt right now so it's just gonna get shoved in here but I have um, one bag of fabric that could probably come become other stuff like there's enough of it that I could probably use it to sew something but I'm not sure <laughs> what that something is yet um, this is a bunch of scrap fabric that is too small to be made into anything so it's gonna be made into cabbage what is cabbage um, hold up where is cabbage this is cabbage um, cabbage is basically just a bunch of fabric diced up into little little bite-sized pieces and I it's what I use for stuffing it's just you know environmentally friendly if you will it does take a really long time to chop everything up um, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in the ears and then in the hangy parts and then it'll be fun it'll be nice so yeah gonna go do that I've been experimenting with pinning the ears on the thing, um, because I, like, it was such a brain exercise where I couldn't figure out, like, where, where to sew them so that instead of, like, this, they'd be like this, but I think I figured out. Let me show you how I pinned it to do the mock-up. So as you can see from my demonstration, my, um, right side, uh, like, kind of goes out. So when it hangs down, it just kind of hangs down naturally versus my left side. Um, when you like lift, it goes up. So when it, it hangs down, it goes back and forth. And that's what I disliked about my first mock-up. So I'm glad I figured that out. Pinning does wonderful mock-ups. But yeah, I'm going to pin it for real this time and then get sewing. <laughs> So this is the hat currently, um, very cute, ears perfectly floppy. So I think what's next is attaching the lining to this thing, um, I'm going to turn it inside out and just kind of sketch where I want the forehead to be because right now it's like really low visibility is important <laughs> in hats, so I'm going to do that and then sew the two pieces together stuff the floppy boppies um and then uh top stitch and then it's done oh my god wow so fun welcome to the chopping table um vroom, vroom. just so you can see what i did can you see that yes you can i marked um i just kind of scribbled on my head with pink pencil where the head should start and stuff and then i'm gonna take this lining bit and inside to inside match it up, attach it, and then I'll probably put some pins around that general area. And so I'll sew everything starting um, in the back and I'll leave like a little two inch gap to turn everything inside out. Um, but I'll go all the way around the ear flaps. I'll also probably round the corners out here. Uh, and sew all the way along and then turn it inside out, but batting in the ear flaps and then top stitch. Yep, 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 but first, iron. Um, so basically, I sewed the hat um, off camera just because I was so terrified that my machine was gonna jam, but I was very lucky it didn't. Um, I don't know if it was just having a bad day yesterday and that's why it kept jamming, but today's going pretty well. But yeah, I'm just trimming off the extra loose fabric that's around so that it's easier to turn inside out and top stitch but yeah so this is an example of how um scrap gets made but yeah that's gonna go into the bag and get turned into stuffing at some point in time <laughs> for whenever the next time i need stuffing is um save the environment bro one piece of fabric at a time but yeah so i'm gonna turn it inside out iron it down and um top stitch oh and stuff so just finished the sewing after the light stuffing and um it's time for the final iron and then the hat is done i think i'm going to tack the lining 
to the top of the head just so that the lining isn't as loosey-goosey as it is currently and the seam at the top of the head is a little bit more secure but other than that it's basically done and it's ready for my friend to receive i'm gonna give some final shots and then yeah that's the hat here it is Ta-da! very cute very on trend very tech talk relevant <laughs> um but yeah, i like the way that ears are like flopping around it's so much better than my original one um i think the top stitch is a wonderful adaptation to the ears and whatnot um and i really like the green and black combo and i think it's gonna be perfect for my friend because i know they have things that are this shade of green and they're goth so black <laughs> is perfect for them but yeah 10 out of the 10 would recommend the pattern's pretty easy um the first one that i made it took me like maybe an hour or so i assume of like actual work time um it took a lot of mental process but like that's sewing in general it always takes mental process but yeah i just used fabric that i had in the scraps um the back fabric is just scrap fabric and the green is actually old bed sheets um that i use and uh it worked out perfectly but yeah would recommend um i think i'm linking the pattern in the bio um but yeah it's very cute um but yeah okay have fun have a good day make sure to drink some water and um bye hey my mental state is not really good but here's a song about funny hats <gasps> funny bunny hat, a funny frog hat, a funny bunny hat, a funny frog hat, funny bunny hat, funny frog hat, funny bunny hat, funny frog hat, funny bunny hat, funny frog hat.